True military aviation began with the perfection of the navigable airship in the late 19th century and the invention of the airplane in the first decade of the 20th century. Both of them were first used in the Atello turkish War. To achieve its long-desired goal of establishing a colony in North Africa, Italy declared war on the Ottoman Empire on September 29, 1911, and soon its soldiers were fighting in Libya. To win the war, Italian forces utilized new technology. Italy had acquired several aircraft in the year before the conflict. During the war, they were put into service for two reasons. To attack enemy positions and for reconnaissance. The latter first happened on October 23, 1911, when the first airplane was employed. The Italian pilot Carlo Piazza in his Blariet 11 aircraft made a one-hour aerial reconnaissance flight over enemy positions between the cities of Tripoli and Anzara. Later in the war, Italian pilots would use cameras to take pictures of Turkish positions. The first reconnaissance photographs were taken between February 24th and 25th, 1912. The first instance of aerial bombardment by an airplane occurred on the 1st of November, 1911. Flying at an altitude of around 200 meters, the Italian pilot Giulio Giavotti dropped four grenades from his Taube monoplane on Ottoman positions in Tashura and Anzara. The four grenades dealt only a small amount of damage, but the potential of this new type of warfare was enough that the Italian army established more than one air division in 1912. The Atello Turkish War was also the first conflict in history to feature aerial bombardment by airships. Filled with gases such as hydrogen and helium, these huge ships in the air could carry a greater load of explosives. Italian forces were the first to use airships for military purposes in March 1912, when two of them dropped bombs on Ottoman troops quartered at the city of Chancer in northwestern Libya. The Ottoman Empire was unprepared for the change in warfare. The Turks lacked any aircraft weapons and were forced to use their rifles to shoot down enemy airplanes with limited success. Italian airships were safe from rifle fire as they could fly and bombard Ottoman positions from a distance outside of enemy firing range. Despite having air supremacy, Italian soldiers still had troubles extending inside Libya, beyond the protection of the Navy's guns. This new type of warfare helped them fight the war, but it did not win the war. Ever since the italo turkish War, military aviation has been a fundamental part of military power and has continued to be improved to this day. <laughs>